In this video, we look at using Google Sheets to find a stratified random sample of a group of students. The question that we're going to look at is from exercises 4.2 of new QMaths 12A. And the question in particular is question 6D. The question asks that we use stratified random sampling to state how many of each group should be chosen to obtain a following sample. And 6D specifically talks about a sample of 15 from 150 year 8s, 120 year 9s, 170 year 10s, 100 year 11s and 90 year 12s. The textbook itself, in example 9 of section 4.2, gives a very similar example worked in the way that you would do it if you're doing it by hand. What I'm going to do in this video is use spreadsheet technology to show you how we can do it a slightly different way if we were using a computer. Similar ideas follow if you're using a graphing calculator. Now the question asks that we use stratified random sampling. If you've forgotten what that is, or you don't know, maybe have a look back through the textbook and read through the different types of sampling that are introduced there, such as stratified and random samples. Essentially what we're looking, with, looking at with stratified sampling is to find a representative group given the size of subgroups in our total. So for example, if we had these groups of year 8s, 9s, 10s, 11s and 12s, and we were interested in their opinions or thoughts on subsubject, we might want to bias our sample so that we got more year 10s than year 12s because there are so many more year 10s than year 12s in the overall group. Stratified sampling is the method that will allow us to do this. And essentially it directs us to choose our sample based on the proportion of the total that each of these groups, year 8s, 9s, 10s, 11s and 12s, make up. To start the question off, what I'm going to do is set up a table which shows us the different groups, year 8s through year 12s, and initially the number that is in the number of students that is in each group. Year 8s we have 150, year 9s 120, year 10s 170, 100 year 11s and 90 year 12s. Those are just the numbers taken from the problem. Now what we're going to need when we're doing a stratified sample is to figure out what proportion of the total each of those groups make up. So that means we need the total first of all. Now in spreadsheet software we've usually got some sort of tool or function that allows us to add up some numbers in a column or a row. Generally speaking it'll be a sum. So we can tell this thing to add up the sum of and then select those five numbers. We hit enter and it gives us 630. Now you can check that yourself if you like, but you can take my word for it that it's there. If you're wondering where that formula went, you can always find it back up the top here in the formula bar, just in case you make any errors or you want to copy it for somewhere later. The next thing I'm going to do is figure out what proportion of the total that makes up, or fraction if you like. Again, we can do this using the spreadsheet's capabilities to calculate values. So I'm going to start these things off with an equals, and then I'm going to calculate this number divided by the total, divided by, of course, with a slash. We can see that that's 0.23, or 0.24 approximately. So about 24% of the total. If you compare those numbers, that probably looks about right. 150 is about a quarter of 630. I can do the same thing again, equals this value, divided by this one, and we get 19, or 0.19, sorry, as the proportion of year nines out of the total. So I've now copied a similar procedure down the rest of the column. And of course you can see the, the formulas appearing up here in the formula bar. B12 over B15, B13 over B15, and so on. Just as a quick check, you don't have to do this, but I checked it by adding up all of those proportions, we should always of course get a full proportion of one because all of the students make up the total number 630. Next what we're going to do is carry out the sample calculation. Now what that means is we're going to use this proportion that we calculate and multiply it by the size of our, our sample that we want, which is 15 students, to figure out how many year eights, nines, tens, elevens and twelves should be in our sample. So we can do that again using an equals, the proportion value, and multiplied by the size of the sample we want, which is 15. So you can see we should choose 3.57 year 8s, and so on. 
we want our proportion multiplied by 15. The proportion multiplied by 15 and so on. And just again as a check we can sum those up we should get 15 in total and we do. Now of course we can't choose 3.57 year 8s or 2.86 year 9s so what we need to do is round those over to get our proper value for the students that we'll choose for our stratified sample. I'm going to call that column number of students for the number of students in the sample. Again Google Sheets has a function that we can use for rounding these values and it's strangely enough called round. So I'm going to round the sample calculation number up to zero decimal places because I just want a whole number. So we can see that 3.57 becomes four students. I can do the same thing all the way down and we find that we're going to have four year eights, three year nines, four year tens, two year elevens and two year twelves. And if you think back to how many there were in the total school group, those kinds of values, they make sense. We had lots more grade tens and eights than we had year 11s and 12s. So we've ended up with a sample which reflects that. And that's the idea of stratified sampling. And we should just make sure that we've got the right number there because we do want a sample of 15. So I'm going to add those up using the sum function again. And there we are, we've got our 15 students. So we can finish this on off with a sentence to say that our stratified sample is comp comprised of those numbers of students. So there we are. To finish it off, the stratified random sample of 15 students should include four year eights, three year nines, four year tens, two year elevens, and two year twelves.